To understand some of the conversions and measurements that are going to be used in this video, here is a quick slide to show you. Bytes are a measure of storage. In one gigabyte, there are 1,024 megabytes. Then in one terabyte, there are 1,024 gigabytes. A hertz is a measure of frequency. There are one million cycles, and in one million cycles, we have one megahertz. 1,000 megahertz would equal one gigahertz. A computer case is needed to store all of the internal parts of a computer. It can be considered the skin of the computer. All parts will be covered or enclosed within the unit. Most cases are built out of steel or aluminum, however cases can be built out of plastic. The power supply is what runs your computer. It will take the power from the outside source, your electrical outlet, and convert it from AC power to DC power, which is what your computer needs to function. The motherboard is the main piece of the computer. The motherboard can be considered the skeleton of a computer. It determines the size, speed, and functionality of the computer. It will house the memory and other important components. It's the motherboard! The heart of the computer. It's full of wires. And the wires are carrying electrical signals, like the ones coming in from our floppy disk. This must be how information travels around the computer. It goes Electricity Express. The processor is the main thinking part of the computer. It is also referred to as the CPU, or Central Processing Unit. The processor can be considered the brain of the computer. All instructions for the computer are sent through the CPU, whether they are basic or complex. It's all wires and lights. This part of the computer is in charge of everything that happens inside. It handles every bit of information that comes in and goes out. You mean like computer headquarters? Just like the principal's office. Which is why it's called the Central Processing Unit, or the CPU for short. Gee, the information doesn't stay in the CPU very long. It gets sent right back out again. The heat sink allows the processor to maintain a normal and safe temperature. Since the processor is constantly running, its temperature will build up to high levels. The heat sink is a fan that will help produce cooler air for the processor to operate safely. Memory is used to store coding and data on a computer and it is also used to recall those codes and data. The most common type of memory is RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. RAM works by producing electrical charges to retrieve and store coding or data. It is used to operate programs and functions. The more RAM a computer has, the faster the computer will work. Bro, 
Bravo! You have just entered the computer's random access memory, also known as RAM. A computer can't follow a list of instructions if it can't remember them. These RAM chips hold the instructions while the CPU follows them. Another type of memory is the hard drive. The hard drive is a slower type of memory that is used for storing data. Information is stored on this drive through disk. These disks will spin similar to a CD until they find the right data or track. Information is magnetically stored on these disks. Welcome to the hard drive, where disks are hard instead of floppy. This is the place where instructions and other information are stored so they can be used again and again whenever they're needed. An expansion card is a card that expands or increases the functionality of a computer. Expansion cards can include sound cards, video cards, or USB ports. A video card is used to help computers better produce graphics and for programs to run more efficiently. For instance, games and videos will be processed through the video card. The sound card is needed to provide input and output of sound. Sound cards must have converters to either produce sound in analog format or receive sound in digital format. A USB or universal serial bus is the most common port on computers. USB ports can be used to connect external devices such as keyboards and mice. Also the USB port can be used to connect flash memory drives to a computer. DVD drives are also known as digital versatile disks. A DVD drive is needed to install software, primarily an operating system. DVD drives come in several formats. A typical and slightly older version of the DVD drive will allow you to play a CD or DVD on a computer. This will allow for music, movies, and software to be viewed from the computer. A DVD burner is different and more advanced than a typical DVD drive. With a burner, a user can complete all the functions of a drive but can now record their own music, movies, software, or data onto a disc. Most newer computers will be equipped with a DVD burner.